Really good. You know, another, another step forward. Uh, good competition going on. And uh, that's what you want to see. You want to see guys competing. You want to see them flying around and uh, making very few mistakes mentally. And that's what we saw today. So it was a very positive, productive day. That offensive line group with Dealman at center looked pretty good in the 10 minutes or so we saw. Yeah, they looked good. Look? We're, we're, we looked very good. We're trying some different combinations. We had uh, a couple guys had finals today, which allowed us an opportunity to, uh, to get a look at uh, some different combinations and, and plugging Dealman in there and Garrett Bowles over at left tackle and uh, bumping Jackson Barton over at right tackle. Uh, Sam Teddy was not here today, so that was the, the five you saw starting with the ones. The guards were the same, uh, Isaac and, and Lecca. But, Good looking group. I mean, that looked like it was a good combination. Well, I was going to say, how, how are Nick and Lowe kind of making this interesting for you? Well, Lowe wasn't here today either. He had a test. So uh, we'll see. You know, it's, it's too early to make any real uh, predictions or, or uh, you know, things that we think might happen. We just got to get a look at things right now and then start to formulate some ideas after we've seen it, particularly in a couple of days in pads. You know, it's hard to, hard to get a real grasp of what's going on up front when you're in uh, just shells. So is it more, are you happy with the options you have there, or oh, yeah, looking yeah. at more, no, what can we, we afford to yeah. lose? We feel elsewhere. very good about both sides of the line of scrimmage. That hasn't changed. We think that we're going to come away with uh, the right five guys on offense, and then we're going to be one of the better lines in the back row, if not the best. I think talking about the receivers a little bit. I know it's day two, but are you mm -hmm. seeing, I talked to Aaron yesterday, he said they're a more physical group. and Yeah, they're stepping up with their physicality, they're competing for the ball. Uh, you know, Tylen Smith wasn't here today. He had a final, but uh, it's great to have uh, Timmy Patrick back. That, that adds a whole new dimension to that group. Just that one guy coming back, and so and he's had a very first uh, good first two days. You know, after sitting out all last year and, and missing as much time as he has, he looks very sharp after two days. Simpson Nakua saw him yesterday playing some safety today, playing some receiver. Is there yeah, we opportunity? Were, maybe we were so thin at receiver today. We were down three receivers, I believe, because Caleb Rep was out with a little neck. And so that gave us a chance to, because Sampson was a very good receiver in high school. Gave us a chance to take a look at him. He did some good things. He's a natural catcher. We just got to see uh, you know, if we can get, get everything else in order. Next Tim Pugh, freshman phenom? Maybe. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see, yeah. A little different style player than Covey, but uh, he's got ability. Coach, who, who are some of the newcomers that are standing out to you through two days? Newcomers standing out. Uh, both freshman running backs, Zach Moss and Devontae Henry Cole doing some really good things. All the linemen on defense, Bradley and I, Max Tapai, Lecky uh, Fotu, those guys are all really showing up. Uh, new linebacker, David Latufa-Sanga, Luafata-Sanga. It's Kabika though, it's not David, he likes, he likes to be called Kabika. Um, the corners, very, very pleased with the three freshman corners, Nigel King, uh, Burgess, and Blackman. Those guys are doing a really good job. They're further, much further ahead than I thought they would be. Despite not being in pads, is, we're seeing some decent physicality. Is we that are. coming that's, from the players, or yeah. is that the coaches saying? That's, that's, uh, that's who we are. Yeah. That's, that's always who we are. We're, and we, it's always better to try to reel them back in a little bit than to try to coax their competitiveness out, to, you know, get it out of them. So it's uh, it's very uh, it's a positive sign when you got to slow them down a little bit. That's that's always what we're looking for. That running that back depth just keems to keep getting keeps, seems to keep getting better we and better. We think we really helped ourselves. We added Armand, Armand Shine. Shine. Yeah, he looked good so out here today. We think we've really helped ourselves at the running back position from a depth standpoint. Now, obviously, losing Booker is huge, but we think overall we have one of the better groups we've had in several years as a team total. Do you have to just kind of play that by ear, whether you can platoon by committee or you got to find a, a workhorse? Uh, right now, I would say you know Joe is scheduled to be our primary carrier. That probably means 15 to 20 carries a game for him. So we've got to find you know, between Troy and another another back, or maybe a couple more backs, that supplemental yardage. We're not going to have the, the one guy workload like Devonte had. That's not going to happen. I can just about guarantee that. But Joe will be the primary ball carrier, and then we'll spread those other reps around. Any separation of quarterback today? No, not yet. You know, they all, I thought they all took a step forward today. They're getting the ball out of their hand on time. They're throwing, you know, they're going through their read progression correctly, they're, just, they're doing good things. If there was separation, would you tell us? Sure, I don't lie. I don't think we'd think <laughs> myself, yeah. I'd just say no comment if I didn't actually know. But right now, they're all progressing in their own ways. Do you have like flashcards for the names? I noticed you knew that Kavika would a lot longer be Kavika, not David. <laughs> well, you know, like a hundred plus yeah, guys. Yeah, you got to get to know your guys. And, and uh, you know, there's only a handful of new guys, or more than a handful of them. But uh, I think it's, you know, it's important, and we stress that throughout the entire team. Everybody get to know everybody. If you got a 
player that doesn't know half his teammates, you know, get a problem. So that's part of our culture here is everybody getting to know each other. Yesterday, you didn't like the, the connotation of friendly competition at the quarterbacks? Well, I don't know if I'd consider it friendly. It's it's very competitive. I'd say, uh, you know, it's not, there's no venom, and there's no hostility. But uh, it's not like, uh, let's go out and have a good time. I mean, that, it's a serious business. And uh, it's, uh, you know, the, the end result is going to be a starting power five. And that's uh, that's a pretty pretty uh, important thing. Can you weigh that when a starter is named, they then are happy for him, and the, the competition's over? Say when that does, again? The competition. When does it end? When they when the starter is named, or does it? Well, it, it's you know it's, you always got to produce. It's what you've done lately, and so once we name a starter, if that starter doesn't uh, produce and get the job done, then you got to look at other options. And so it's not once you're the starter, it's set in stone. You know, and that's at every position. You got to. This is a bottom line business. You got to produce every week. We have more depth now than we've ever had. I can say that with absolute confidence. And there's a lot of guys in the two and three spots that are ready to step up and, and uh, take your place. What improvements have you seen from the wide receiver position from spring ball until just day two? Physicality, they're a more physical group, uh, doing a better job going up and getting the contested ball. Um, just overall, uh, much more competitive uh, edge to them. There's just more, you know, there's more of a competitive edge and they're, they're hungry. Uh, and it's, you can start to see it in spring, but it's even more prevalent now. Coach, O.C. and I were debating on the sidelines whether or not I could beat all of your 280-pound-plus players in a 40-yard dash. No, you I couldn't said beat yes, them all. No, you couldn't said, beat them all. No? What do you run? Uh, in high school, 4'9", and I'm now 33 15. years old. No, there's not a chance. You no could chance? Probably, you could probably beat three-quarters of them. Three-quarters of them? Who would Half the three-quarters. Uh, for sure, Garrett Bowles. He's like a five-flat guy right now at 300 okay. pounds. If you ran 4.9 in high school, that probably, probably, five, that probably means it was a 5.1 in high school, <laughs> which probably means you're about a 5.4 now. Oh, so coach, it's just reality me. hurts. It does. If the truth kills a man, you got to let him die. Well, That's I guess I'm going to die then. How many could you beat? Uh, the big guys, yeah. same amount of sound. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>